Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis from the World of Bodybuilding. I want to talk about Phil Heath. I saw something very, very interesting. And it's not interesting, okay, without being negative on the Dubai Muscle Show. This post, you know, is not interesting because of the show, okay, because of the ad. It's very, very interesting because of the fans' reaction to that post. And his comments on it okay very interesting so like you all know that you know Phil won't compete at the Olympia this year he announced it through MD okay to through an interview that will go public but segments of the interview went already online so people and um, I was one of the first guys you know to that reported about it after of course MD made an announcement through YouTube um so people speculate that he will compete there and get his eighth one and now they are of course not so happy with it so one fan says you can get 10 easy and phil replies funny when i said i'm going for 10 people scoffed and called me names okay that's one very very interesting one but that's not the only interesting one so the next very interesting one is so you're done with the olympia one loss and done and Phil says, you're not thinking big enough, my man. Hashtag opportunity knocks. So when when he says opportunity knocks, he can think about his supplement line, Phil Heave Labs, and also the, the global muscle tour he did through Europe very, very recently. I think he's back for like just since one week or so. He's at home or something like that. And he will go soon again uh, to other uh, when used for example this dubai muscle show too so he means that of opportunities i think business opportunities you know to capitalize on the name he built through all the years and through his olympia shows and he couldn't do that much of appearances uh, because of the obligation to do and win the olympia okay and one also one comment which is very very interesting is one fan said i wish you could show at this olympia even you weren't competing just to give a evans taste of what they didn't give you last year phil heath answered that's pretty pity don't you think no need to be pity when i can focus on being better in life i'm proud of being a seven times Mr. olympia i think that's really adult like what he says you know that you know what phil says what he replied like he says if he would complain like many pro bodybuilders who still do it 20 30 years after they had the shots where they thought that should they should have won you know you know those guys one begins with sean and ends with ray um that wouldn't be cool okay that wouldn't be like a champion you always complain about and you're being pity like Phil says so I think that he does it right okay if he doesn't want to c compete at least don't be pity okay about it if you have problems with it you know you, you're still young enough you're good enough you could go on stage and let the muscle speak so to say so that's a good thing and a bad thing he didn't complain and do things at least publicly of course, you never know how to go skies are private. And one other question on stage guest posing champ. He's speaking about the Dubai Muscle Show in December. He says no. Okay, so he won't guest pose. He won't do the Olympia this year. And he may even be retired or is retired from competitive bodybuilding. What do you think about this? This was lots of information in one video. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for the fans asking that. Social media enabled us fans, you know, to comment directly to the athlete himself and get responses online without having to travel through the world to see, you know, Phil Heath one time in, in a lifetime and may even not even be ever, um, able to speak to him. So that's a great opportunity. Subscribe to my channel. I want to get 3,000 till the Olympia. What do you think about Phil's decision? Do you think that he's, you know, getting 
more mature in his mind or what do you think I wish you all the best Olympia is coming pretty close it's this weekend this weekend not even one week left bye